Paul Peterson was watching an action movie on television with one of his best friends, Sequa. The house started shaking. We thought the movie had an explosion and stuff, he said. We figured out it wasn't the TV. The ceiling and concrete blocks rained down on the boys. I tried to grab him, Peterson said. He tried to grab one of his best friends, Sequa. Slabs of concrete crushed Peterson's head, pinning it onto the edge of the bed. Nearby, Sequa's body was buried beneath the rubble on the bed. At first, he was making a little bit of noise, like yelling, and then he stopped, Peterson said. I knew he was dead. Unable to heal, heave the pile of debris that pressed on Peterson's head, and with his best friend dead, Peterson remained trapped and terrified. I couldn't. I just left it alone, he said. He fell in and out of consciousness. No food, no water. When he could, he screamed, help me. No one answered. On the fourth day, Peterson said he felt his head would burst. The pain was excruciating. People were walking on top of the blocks that pinned him down, searching for loved ones. I felt like the blocks were pushing my head down more and more, Peterson said. I started yelling for them to stop walking, but they couldn't listen, I think. Someone heard Peterson's cries, his mother, who had frantically been searching for him nearby. She asked the neighborhood men to dig. I heard him yelling, she said. I knew it was my son. Who had, she had been at the market when the earthquake struck. A group of men and women freed Peterson. I saw the light, the sunlight bright from a little hole, Peterson said. That's when I said, I am here. Firstly, point number one. Disaster has to come. Whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're young, whether you're old, whether you're black, white, colored, Indian, disaster has to come. But the question is, when the disaster comes, who and where do you run to? Yes. I was about 10 years old. This is a true testimony. I will never forget this for the rest of my life. I was 10 years old. I was sleeping. I didn't know Jesus at that time. I wasn't a Christian. I was fast asleep at night. Suddenly, the atmosphere began to change. The room, the atmosphere changed. I knew something was wrong. Suddenly, something cold came up my spine and suddenly choked me. That few seconds felt like eternity. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move. I struggled. Suddenly, that left me. After that day, fear gripped my heart. I never slept in a dark room. I always slept with the light on. I never went in dark places. I never went anywhere alone. I always took somebody with me. We got a mango tree at home. Every time I come home and the mango tree shakes, I used to run for my life. Fear gripped my heart. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to turn. I went to so many leaders. Listen to me, everybody. So many leaders. Nobody could help me. I went to family. Nobody could help me. Friends? No, nobody. I was a 10-year-old miserable boy. Until one day, I was at my granny's Thanksgiving. Didn't know Jesus. A pastor by the name of Pastor Leslie Peters was preaching in a one-pole marquee. I was sitting there as a young man, 10 years old. I don't know what this guy was saying. All I know is when he made an altar call, and he said, who wants to give their life to Jesus? I felt like a wind coming underneath me. It picked me up. I sprang to my feet. And I gave my life to Jesus. I was the only person that stood up that day. Amen. Pastor Leslie Peters called me to the front. He applied the blood. He made me say the sinner's prayer. And he prayed over me. That same night when I went home, I slept in. Peace. Lights off, sleeping like a baby. Peace. Listen, my brother and my sister. 
When you are facing your disaster, your disaster might be alcohol, drug addiction, prostitution, pressure, stress, financial problem, unemployment. I don't know what kind of disaster you are facing, but I'm asking you today, who do you run to? Peterson couldn't run to his friend Sekwa. His friend Sekwa was dead. When you're going through your troubled times, don't run to your friends. Friends are there for the good time. When you have nothing, when you're down to nothing, see if your friends are around. Today they pat you on the back, tomorrow they've got a dagger there in your back. Don't rely on your friends. Peterson's mother, she was at the market shopping. She didn't know what was going on with Peterson. Don't rely on your family. Your family will let you down. They will write you off. You make one mistake, they'll throw in the towel and they'll give up on you. I'm saying to run to Jesus. Run to Jesus.